Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And today we're going to uh, do painting with gel pens. So um, first of all, I want to say to you uh, that I had been experimenting for a long time with gel pens and how to turn them into paint. And I had tried a million things and finally um, I sort of failed at it until I saw Jennifer Stay, and you might check her out, her channel, Coloring Bliss, here. And um, she made one change in what she was doing, and then it turned the gel pens into paint. And so I am going to uh, give her the credit, even though I've been <laughs> experimenting, and um, just give you a short uh, visual of how, she, how it's done. And um, you can go from there and see if it's something you'd like to do. First of all, I use paper that is fairly, I wouldn't say thick, but good. Uh, I have not tried this on Amazon paper. I've basically done it in here. Let me show you my gel pen. You can see how sparkly they are, that sparkle pop on some of them, and plain gel pen on the other. But this pretty much except the background and the cake were done with gel pens and turning it into paint. And then the other example I want to show you is this one. This is pretty much all gel pen and some are the glitter gel pen and some are plain gel pen. This is plain gel pen because it doesn't sparkle. But uh, you can see how nice that it works, especially covering a big area like that, or her hat here. Okay, let's get started, and I want to show you uh, in A Million Sloths, these books are by Lulu Mayo, A Million Owls by Lulu Mayo, and um, this is A Million Sloths. I have other books in her series, not all of them, but um, they are really great paper, um, Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. Some of these pictures back here were done with Crayola crayons and the Crayola twistables. And I uh, did these with a special technique so that they're spread like paint too. So that'll be another video. But on this video, we're doing the gel pens. Okay, let's uh, get going here. Uh, what you're going to need are some gel pens, and I have a few. Um, you don't have to have any certain brand. This is from the dollar store. This is uh, Sparkle Pop. Uh, these are Chromatech. Some are Arteza. Most of my gel pens are Arteza or Chromatech. So it doesn't matter, any gel pens. And then what you're going to need is a paintbrush. And I got out a few little ones here. I'm not sure which ones I'll use. These are just cheap uh, paintbrushes from Walmart that come in a pack. Uh, nothing special. They're for acrylic paint or watercolor. And um, then you need some tape. Now I'll show you something here that's very important. Um, Jennifer Stay uses this brand, Scotch Tape, Scotch, and the frosted one. Now, this is the Scotch brand clear one, and you'll notice a red label. You don't want this one. This one will not work. This is too slippery. So we're creating a surface to get our gel pen, our gel uh, ink out of the pen. So do not buy this one. What you need is the Scotch brand frosted one, and what is it called here? Is there a name on it? Uh, it's called a matte finish, and uh, if you can't find this or it's too expensive, go to your Dollar Tree and get this one. It's called Invisible, and it says right here, matte finish. It's the same thing, and you get a pretty big roll um, compared to this, so either one will work for you. And then uh, you can also use washi tape. This is just a washi tape that I have. I'm not in love with the pattern, so I'm going to use it to uh, spread my gel ink. And then we need a medium, and it's glycerin. I'm sorry I don't have the original bottle, but vegetable glycerin can be purchased at a pharmacy 
over the counter. It's very inexpensive. Uh, where they do cake decorating, they sell vegetable glycerin or where they do soap making. So any of those places would have just vegetable glycerin. Of course, I ordered mine over Amazon and uh, it was it came real quickly, but I poured it into this dropper bottle and now I can't find the original bottle because you use such such a small amount that you need to be able to drop it. Um, and the original bottle was a poor bottle. I think that I bought the one for cake decorating. And then you need a, a non-porous surface. You can use a dish or a, a plastic cap or anything to put it in. So what we're going to do is put a little, we're going to put uh, one, two, three little drops of glycerin. And you're not going to be able to see it because it's clear. And uh, it would. this is the thing I want to stress, too. When it's dry, if you notice, this is not sticky. This is doesn't rub off. It's not sticky. It will, but you want to use the minimum glycerin. This is not sticky. And you can go with a colored pencil over this to shade it if you choose to. Okay? So that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. And we've got our glycerin ready there. Um, I have a paper towel in case I need it and my pens. And then I did this so I could see the tape because once you put it down on the paper, you on the white paper, you can't see it. So I wrote tape and put it there. Because sometimes after you wipe it off a little bit and do other colors, it wears out. So you want to go and have a few little strips of tape. Okay, let's get going here. And let's do something in this book. Um, I'm just going to show this to you. And uh, I won't complete the whole picture on camera. Um, I am going to be having color alongs, but not right now this month. And I don't want to make my channel always about talking about my post-COVID sim symptoms, but that's what's holding me back from having a, a color along. Um, but I'm hoping after this month that hopefully I will be able to um, get into it. So I'm going to show you some of my ideas or techniques or things that I'm doing that you could do um, in your book. So I just chose a simple drawing here. And um, what we're going to do is, let's see, what color do we want to make those flowers? Um, I've got all kinds of gel pens. Now, I do have to say that my Arteza gel pen do not like to write on the washi tape, but it writes really well on this. My Chromatech doesn't like the washi tape, but the dollar store uh, <laughs> pen works fine. So it just um, depends on your pen. Let's see. Do we want to do purple or blue? Okay, let's do this light blue. And what I do is scribble on this. Don't tell me that's not going to write. Hmm. That one doesn't want to. There it goes. Okay. Let me zoom in. I'm too far out. Sorry, folks. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to scribble on this piece of tape that's here. And um, just put some gel pen there. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of my small brushes and I'm going to dip it in the glycerin, but I, I, I'm going to get it wet, but then I'm going to wipe. I'm going to press it off on the side. I don't want it soaking wet. I just want to have enough glycerin to move the, um, what do you call it, the ink. And so I'm going to pick it up like this. And... You know, that's not the right brush. That is not going to work real good. Okay, let me try this one. That one was just too hard for some reason. 
and I think the uh, ink will dry here. So, okay, let's go with this and try it. There we go. Okay, I want to make these light blue. I might make them different colors. Picking up the ink and going over here. But do not use too much glycerin. You'll get the hang of it when you try this to find out how much you're going to need. <clears throat> and I'm going to go around those circles because I want to color them in. Okay, and then you can take your paper towel and wipe that off if you, when you want to change colors. But I'm going to just do the same color. Maybe I didn't choose the right. Some of these pens work really good and some don't. So um, you just have to experiment with your gel pens. Okay, I'm going to dip in the glycerin again. I'm dipping in, but I'm pushing off most of it on the side. And I'm going to pick up the ink. And then it spreads very nicely. Okay, let's do a little more on that one. Okay, let me do another one or two, and then maybe I'll, well, I don't know, maybe they should all be the same color. Maybe not. Okay. And I still have enough glycerin, I feel, on the tape and on my brush. You can feel it. Okay, and this stretches your gel pens. When I'm down to the wire with my gel pen and I don't have a refill, I will uh, make sure that I use them in this manner. And that way you can use up all of your ink in them. Okay. And like I said, when this is totally dry, you can go back. In fact, that's already dry. You can go back with pencil. And you can detail it, shade it, uh, whatever you want to do. Okay, let's wash, clean our brush off. And uh, use my towel here just to clean it off. Let's try um, a light green maybe on this leaf here. I'm going to go down here on this piece of tape. Now see this ink, this pen writes really great. They're all different. We're going to dip back into the glycerin and we're going to push it off onto the side here as much as we can. <clears throat> we're going to pick this up, get it wet, pick it up, and we're going to go on the leaf here. I'm making it light green because I'm going to detail it with a pencil. You could also use a dark green ink to detail it if you would like. Uh, on this particular drawing I'm not going to do that but you can do that. In fact maybe I'll try to put a little dark in there. Let's see how that works out. And I think I have enough glycerin here to spread the ink. Yep I do. Whoops I'm off camera here. Sorry folks. Whoops, let's move this here and this here. Okay. And it looks shiny, but when that dries, it's a matte. Okay, let's take the dark green. <clears throat> I'm going to go on the same piece of tape because it's dark green. Now, if you get too much glycerin on your tape, you're going to wipe it off. And then you'll start again. see if this makes a difference in the color. Maybe that wasn't enough of a color change. I needed a darker, darker pen and I don't have, do I have one here? Oh, I do. Okay, let's try the dark green. Okay, there we go. So you can do some shading with this if you like. They blend really great together. And uh, my camera, too bad it doesn't show the color as strong as I would like it to show. 
Okay. If I hold it like that where it doesn't glare. Let me try some more of this. Uh, now, I need to wipe this off because it doesn't want to come out. And here's a part of the tape that works better. <clears throat> So, I hope you can see that without a glare. I have to make it darker for you. For me in person, it's dark enough, but I want to make it darker for you guys to see on camera. Okay, and it does not bleed through, okay? So, test your paper. Always test your paper. And always test your book because you don't know. Um, okay. I ha I'm going to do these. I didn't have like, I want like a brown color and I don't have that for the um, little sloth. And I don't have a red out here for the ladybug. So um, I'm going to do some more leaves and then we're going to do some more of these um, flowers. <clears throat> and I want you to hope that you get the idea. Now my tape is working better. There we go. I'm going to make sure I'm on camera. I'm sorry, folks. Okay. And then let me wet my brush again, wipe it off. I'm just barely dipping into the glycerin. You don't want a whole lot. You want just enough to move the ink. <clears throat> okay, I like to get that a little bit more blue. I didn't get another blue pen out, so <clears throat> I'm going to keep using this one until I make it as dark as I want. And like I said, you could get a b darker blue pen out. Like we did here on the leaf, we have two shades of green. I don't know if that's coming across. Probably not. Um, it sort of gets washed out with the camera. Okay. Now, see, I can tell there's too much glycerin there because it looks a little patchy. So I don't like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to... Go again. Well, let's go down here to another piece of tape. Sometimes your tape gets worn out, and um, then you need to revamp it by have a fresh piece. Yeah, I'm. I'm think I want to make these. Can I make them another color? Would that look good too? Okay, and we're going to try this. Uh, I don't think the washi tape works really good for this type of gel pen, but... <clears throat> It's my gel pen. I probably chose one that doesn't. It's got plenty of ink. Some don't work as good as others. I don't know if you have gel pens, you probably know that. And it's always the color you want that's not going to work as good as you think it should. Okay, let's wipe this off now. And let's try doing... Well, maybe I'll do these a different color and these blue. Let's try the washi tape. See, this kind of pen, Arteza, does not like the washi tape. If you were to use um, this one from the dollar store, yeah, it doesn't like it either. I just tried it, and um, what was it? That was the um, uh, Sparkle Pop, I think. See, the sparkle pop looks really good there. Works really good there. 
but I won't use the washi tape. So that one, I will tell you that the that the uh, matte finish tapes always will work. Okay, the washi tape, maybe it's the type I have. I don't know. Okay, let's go with... Um, let's wipe some of this off. Let's go with um, this purplish color here. There we go. It's a fresh piece of the tape. Okay, but it, it's a lot of fun, and um, these gel pens I have are low on ink, so this sort of helps me to use what's left in them. And you can leave some white space on it like that for highlight, if you would like. It glares. I'm sorry, folks, but it glares. Okay, so let's do a little bit more. And... Uh, I'll make this branch that color and that branch that color. I'm going to make my sloths a little different too. I'm going to make them a little different color. So, not sure yet. Well, I don't have the gel pen that would be good for an animal. Unless I use gray or silver. Okay, now if I use a smaller brush, let's see if I can get here better. Yeah, so um, I need to go down to Walmart and buy me a packages of some small brushes. I'm running out. When they get worn out, I throw them away. The ones for acrylic paint are the best. Um, this color of bristle works the best, I feel, for this. Yeah, see, I can spread that. If they're too soft, they're not going to be good. Get them for acrylic paint. Don't get the brushes for watercolor. Okay, so there we have it. Now, you may try different washi tape. This is washi tape from the dollar store, and maybe that's why, although I can pick this up and color there, the uh, Sparkle Pop pens don't seem to mind it. But uh, it could be my washi tape that if you have a better grade of washi tape that it might work better. Yeah, see? So um, I would say to go with the scotch tape or try some washi tape and different brands of washi tape may work differently. Your brush will clean out real easily with just your towel here. The glycerin will actually clean it and that's it. So I hope that um, this has helped someone today and that you found a new use for your gel pins. I'm going to complete this off camera, and then I, after it see it's dry already, I am going to take my colored pencils and go in there and shade this. Um, I don't have enough colors in gel pen to do it, otherwise I could do it, and I need a smaller brush. This one is a watercolor brush, and it doesn't work that good. So um, just uh, get an inexpensive set of brushes for acrylic paint, and it should work fine. Okay, folks, I hope this helped. If you have any questions on this, please leave the, uh, leave the question in the comment below, and I will answer it the best I can. Well, I just wanted to make this short technique video and come in to you today 
And then uh, we'll be moving along this month, and as soon as I can, we will be doing a color along, okay? And until we meet again, happy coloring.